everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial I want to talk about how to create a PHP redirect. So for those unaware, PHP redirects allow you to be able to redirect an old PHP page or maybe you're trying to protect a directory um, and redirect it to wherever you would like it to go. I personally find myself using this all the time. Just today here on the Name Hero website, we had an old page and we had used it in years past and one of our support techs hit me up this morning and was asking about it to why the page was still up because it was uh, displaying some former products we used to offer and I told him, well, it just kind of slipped our minds here and um, you know, we left the page up, but we were kind of finishing as we were transitioning and we just kind of forgot about it. And so we used a PHP redirect to redirect those old products to the new product pages. And it's just very simple to use. You know, you can do redirects inside of HT Access, you can do it inside of cPanel, but sometimes if you're moving around web hosts or you're changing up your infrastructure, sometimes it's just as simple to create a PHP redirect. So I'm doing this blog post and video uh, more for my reference, so I can always reference it whenever I'm setting it up. But because I like to just copy and paste code instead of having to rewrite or, or do it from scratch. It's just easier to copy and paste it. So I'm doing this for my resources and I figure you will find this useful for all of our resellers out there when you're helping your customers as well as those of you that just need a, a quick paste, copy paste um, PHP redirect. So it's just super simple to do. You don't have to have any coding knowledge or anything like that. You can do it right inside your file manager inside a cPanel, or if you have an FTP program, you can use that, or if you're using SSH, you can use um, one of the editors inside of there. So um, for those of you that are not familiar with our web hosting here at Name Hero, we offer high-speed, reliable cloud hosting um, for an affordable price. For under $5 a month, you can get started with our basic web hosting. The current special is $3.59 a month, and then you can kind of go up from there. I started Name Hero out of necessity. I could not find any web host out there that offered high speed, true cloud hosting without building my own servers. So I started Name Hero to solve that problem, to solve a problem that I was having. And we've seen a lot of success from it. Those of you that are using WordPress or just looking for a fast and reliable web host with great customer service, I, um, I invite you to come give us a try. You know, try out Name Hero and, um, you know, really put us to the test. Don't just take my word from it. Um, you know, Sign up and, and see what we can do to help your business. I encourage all of you that are watching this video to check out our reviews. We don't um, hide behind a computer. You can see we publish our reviews. These come in real time um, from people that are making orders and they display right here on almost every page of the website. And if you scroll on down to the bottom, you can see we have a hyperlink here to our reviews. And so we not only display the real-time reviews, we also incorporate our social media reviews. And also, we have our support reviews. So if, you, if you're if um, you a user that may need tech support from time to time, I mean, I, me personally, I don't need support a lot, but I know when I need it, I need it fast and I need quality. So what we do at Name Heroes, we actually publish our support reviews. Um, after a ticket is closed, after a case is finished, we send our users a survey that ask them, you know, rate the tech on a scale from one to 10 and um, provide some feedback if you wish. So you can see every single month um, for at least the last year and a half, um, we've asked this to users. If you just want to see March, 2018, you can see um, we give the timestamp of when the case was closed, the rating from the user. Um, if it's a zero, that means they did not rate the case. Um, but then the comments that are left. So some people leave comments, some people just leave a rating. But this way you can see in real time, you know, what people are saying about our service because I believe it's one thing to offer high speed um, fast web hosting but it's a whole other to offer um, 10 for 10 customer service and customer support so if you've been looking for a new web host I do invite you over to our services so with that plug out of the way let me show you how to set up this PHP redirect so I'm going to log in to my demo account. If you're following along, just hover over here and click log in. And if you notice over here, I already have it logged in, so we don't have to worry about me typing in all that stuff. And I want to navigate to my web hosting package. So this is my demo account. So I've got six different cloud web hosting packages. It's likely you just have one or two, and that's fine. Just click on cloud web hosting, though. And then navigate to the package you're wanting to work on. So in my case, we're going to be working on keydiets.com, which is a plus cloud package. So I'm going to Click that, and this is my control panel for that package. This control panel allows me to um, do anything I need with this particular package. I can FTP in, I can go to my webmail, I can create email accounts, and do everything from this page. So, what I want to do is I need to go into cPanel. So, under actions, I'm going to click log in to cPanel. 
and I'm brought inside of cPanel. So right now, if I go to the Key Diets website, it's just a blank page because it's a new hosting account, and this is what you see. Now, if I wanted to redirect this to a different website, and for my example, I'm just going to redirect Key Diets to the main page of Name Hero. So I'm going to do this through a PHP redirect. So inside of cPanel, I want to go into File Manager, and I want to go into my public HTML. This is where all my public files are stored. So any files that are viewable on the web will be inside this folder. So I'm going to double click on public HTML here. And you can see the only thing that's created is the CGI bin. So if I go into my browser, I can see the CGI bin and then you can't access that directly. So that's the only file there. So I want this to redirect to namehero.com. So I'm going to go back to File Manager and I'm going to click Create a New File. It's up here at the top. Just click New File and I'm going to type in index.php and click Create New File. And then I want to click here and click Edit right here and click edit again and then I'm going to paste a little bit of code. Now if you are following along you can um, you can copy this paste, I'm copy and paste this from our blog so I'm going to do a blog post on how to create your PHP redirect so you can just search how to create a PHP redirect name hero you can put it in Google and the post will come up so you can copy this or you can just copy it and paste it from your YouTube window and so it looks like this PHP header um, bracket quotation location and then HTTP whatever your domain may be. So in my case I'm going to use HTTPS and we're going to do www.namehero.com. So I want to redirect the name, the main key diets website to namehero.com. I'm going to click save changes. Now, if I go back to my browser with key diets and hit refresh, I'm now directed to name hero. And it really is that simple. Now, if I wanted to make a, just a subdirectory so I could just delete this, um, confirm and let's just say I wanted to put this in a directory so let's say the folder or folder folder or directory and we'll just call it redirect click create new folder I would go inside of that click new file call it index.php click create new file go once again click it and click edit click edit again paste my PHP redirect code, and if I wanted this to go to a page on Name Hero, maybe our web hosting packages. So namehero.com slash web dash hosting dot PHP, click save changes. And now if I go in my browser to keydiets.com, you'll see a folder called redirect. And when I click it, I go to our web hosting page. So it is that simple and I use it all the time. So sometimes I'll have directories that I don't want people accessing and I just want to send them off somewhere else and I'll use the PHP redirect. And it's probably one of my most used things um, that I've used in the last 20 years of working online. PHP redirects are awesome. They're simple, they're easy. And um, you don't have to worry about editing your HT access file, which you know it's appropriate, but sometimes that can get full of a lot of stuff and really get overly complicated when you can just do it with a PHP redirect. And the good thing about it is you can insert any URL inside of there um, as long as it um, begins with HTTP or HTTPS, fully quantified URL, um, and you can go to any website. So you could even set it to Google and it just go to Google. So sometimes I do that when I have just random pages I don't want people snooping on. I'll just send them off to Google. So uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions on this. Again, if you're a web hosting customer, one time or another, you're going to find yourself needing this. If you're a reseller of ours, you're going to find a customer needs something redirected and they want to do it very simply. They don't want to mess with the redirects in cPanel or HD Access. And this is the way I recommend. So again, let me know if you have any questions, but thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for using us at namehero.com.